Hi Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your love reading for the month of May. We are going to look at love for singles as well as couples. I can't wait to get started. Okay, goodness. I am so excited to tell you this. Um, I didn't even ask the question in my head yet or start shuffling and this one just like left right out of the deck. So like whatever you want, whatever you want in regards to love, you're going to start going in that direction. And look, I'm getting goosebumps as I say it. So it's super true. Yay. You are in the right direction to find the love that you dreamed of. Hell yes. And the reason why is because like you're coupling like the lessons that you've learned, like your dark side, your shadow side with your hope and optimism. Like you're totally fucking balanced. Yay. And so um, if you're coupled, it's also like, guess what? You are headed in the direction that you want to head with your partner. Bravo. I'm so excited for Aquarius. Okay. So we're going to start with singles. They have so much they want to say today. Okay, so singles. The past elements that are affecting your present. Okay, so they're saying, you know, the past, like all of your pain, all of your hurts, like things that people said that like, <laughs> you're not quite to what doesn't kill you makes you stronger yet. Okay, but you're working on it and you're working hard on it. You're working hard at understanding like any disappointments you've had in the past, anytime that somebody like was an asshole to you, like you're working through it, you're working past it, and you're coming to this place of like pure childlike faith and optimism that the universe will provide you this like amazing partner, everything you ever dreamed of. You're not even worried that you're not gonna find him, you're not worried you're gonna fall off of this cliff like into a pit of fire. Okay, you're just going to like land on some soft little marshmallow clouds and it's going to be beautiful and wonderful, you know, even though this dog is like, whoa, 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 slow down. Like your most loyal friends might be like, hey, um, before you just jump right in with this new person you meet, you might want to get to know them first. Mm -mm, doesn't even matter. Like this is a good way to be. It's a really good way for you to be in May. Um, so what is it? Why is it that you want to find love? in May, um, because you want things to be different than the past, because you don't want to be perceived as a bitch, because you're sick of not getting the things that you want. And it's not even really that deep. It's just like, I found my focus. Like, I know that I want to be in like a super fun, loving relationship. That's easy. Good for you, because those are positive wants. Okay. What can you expect in regards to love? And they're saying, um, expect to focus on the positive things. Like you're going to just kind of, you know, like when things go wrong, um, we get to decide, like, are we going to wallow in that or are we going to be like, okay, I learned, right? So for example, you are online dating, okay? And you go on a date and you're excited about it. You have good like chatting or whatever. And then you meet them and you're just like not into them at all. And you're bummed because you thought you were going to really like them. And then like the chemistry just wasn't there um, in person. But instead of feeling like sad or bummed out about it, you're just like, okay, cool. Next, right? Like, good. Like, good thing I didn't waste another like two weeks talking to this guy before I met up with him. Like, now I know that's a waste of my time. Next, right? That's how you are. So good for you. Um... They're saying, like, mentally, it's like you've not given up on love. And this is a really good thing because sometimes we get like that, right? Like, oh, I'm not getting what I want. Oh, I'm not getting what I want. And then you're just like, 
I'm not even going to try anymore. And they're like, but, but this, this is a good month for you to um, really like think about what it is you desire and kind of ask the universe or your angels or, you know, God, whoever for those things, because they can come for you. Okay. Um, factors influencing your love life are like, well, you're not a bitch this month <laughs> or any month, really. I don't know any Aquarius people who are like assholes. Um, I don't know many Aquarius though. <laughs> anyway, point is, is that, um, you know, you're not, you're, you're not being unapproachable, like because you've got bitch face or something like that. But on the other side of the coin, you might not be super assertive about what it is that you desire when you're meeting other people. So that's something to think and think or keep in mind. Um, how are other people perceiving you? They're saying um, that you're open and willing to receive love. So good. You seem ready. Um, but as a result of that, because you're open and willing to receive love, um, they believe that you're still in a relationship, right? Because you're not putting out this like desperation energy like, hey, um, I can't wait to meet you. I want to like hang out with you like immediately I want to spend all this time with you like you're not like obsessive and that's not your energy anyway as an Aquarius but some signs are like that right like ah they go all in like immediately so because you're a little bit distant or whatever some people might be wondering like oh wait like am I potentially like side fling like what's going on here um they don't necessarily think that you're lying but like they haven't asked about it so what can get in the way of finding love this month? And they're like, you know what? Life isn't fair sometimes. <laughs> That's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> um, but they're saying like, for those of you who are not super in touch with your intuition, who you're not following your gut instincts, you're going to come out of this month like feeling like, okay, why is it that some Aquarius has really got like this awesome love month and they were super lucky in love and I wasn't? right? But those kind of people are probably not watching a tarot reading. So it's probably not you. But just as a word of caution, make sure that you're really trusting your gut instincts and um, pretty in touch with your feelings. So what's the best course of action for you to find the love that you desire this month? And they're saying that exact energy, like where it's a little bit aloof, like, okay, like, this could be amazing with you or not, but like in, if you're not like super, super into that person for like who they are, if you can't see yourself, you know, moving forward with them, it's like, that's okay. That's totally okay. That's going to serve you well. Um, if you do over attach, okay, um, what is the outcome for you? And they're saying, well, that relationship will end. They'll be like, whoa, this person is way too clingy. It's a st stage five clinger, can't even. Um, they're saying, and then you'll be back in the same position like where you started, where you're single and you're like a little bit like, ugh, I gotta start over, okay? So it's better for you to err on the side of um, being like a little bit detached, like not over-investing as opposed to over-investing. But that's more your style anyway. Um, so if you do not over-invest, what's the outcome for you? And they're saying a lot of fun and excitement and things moving quickly because it's like then all of a sudden you become more interesting, right? If you're a little bit aloof, a little bit standoffish, the other person is going to be like, what's this person about? I want to make like all the effort I can in order to find out all about them. I want to spend more time with them. They're going to start chasing you. And as they're chasing you, um, it will be fun. It'll be silly. It'll be joyful. You'll go on adventures potentially. Um, and also a lot of hot sex if you're into that. So awesome. Now, for those of you who are coupled Aquarians, what kind of stuff from the past is affecting your relationship now? They've got like a little stack here. Okay, they're saying, well, there's some stuff that you've stuffed that you know that it's there, but you don't want to think about it, okay? Um, and it's affecting you now because it's not making you able to like fully express what it is that you hope for in regards to like the trajectory of your relationship or like how you want it to be better, okay? Because they're saying you can have 
the relationship that you desire. Like if you want to have like better conversations with your partner, if you want like more time away from your partner, if you want to get married, if you want to have like 17 children or like, you know, whatever your desire relationship goal is, you can have that and you can have like more than that. But the thing is, is like because there's these things that you know you need to deal with or talk about within your relationship and you're opting not to, that's going to make it challenging to get there. So they're saying like, you're more just kind of, okay, I'm going to hold on to the security that I have. Like, I don't want to upset the apple cart. And that's why you're doing that because you know that it could cause you some pain to talk about these things. It could cause your partner some pain to talk about these things, but it really needs to be your focus. Um, otherwise you're not going to get what you want. So they're saying, make an effort to think these things through and then speak on them in the month of May. Okay, so why do you need to do this? And they're saying, um, it's not like your relationship is toxic or anything. Like, it's not like these thoughts or things that you need to bring up are, like, so damaging. They're going to ruin your relationship. But it's just, like, this is how you take things to the next level. Like, this is how you start to achieve what it is that you're trying to manifest or what it is that you desire in your relationship. Um, what can you expect generally in your relationship this month? And they're saying, you know, like you might feel a little bit disappointed um, and things aren't going to change overnight, but like feel confident in your relationship, like feel confident that things are actually okay. Like a little bit of healthy suspicion with that tiny little cat there is fine, but focus on the points of joy. Like when your relationship is good, you know, like when you're enjoying each other's company, they're saying it's going to be challenging to put like work into the relationship. And the reason why is, um, th so this flipped this way and then it went this way. So for less of you, the reason why is, um, like because you don't have enough time for yourself <laughs> and for more of you it's because you're taking maybe too much time away from the relationship you know spending time with friends or independent like activities or hobbies things like that your partner sort of needs you to come back to them a little bit and so um maybe that's where the disappointment is coming from sure the three of swords often people will say oh it's cheating it's lying you know it's whatever it could be but I don't get that vibe here. Um, what I'm getting more is it's like disappointment. So perhaps it's like your partner is nagging you to spend more time with them. And you're like, I got to have my own life too. <laughs> you know, that kind of a thing. Um, but you feel bad because they feel bad. Okay. How are other people going to affect your relationship? Um they really don't. Your relationship is secure. How is your partner's uh, partner going to be influencing how your relationship goes in May? And they're saying, well, your partner might be a little bit confused about what is the most important thing within the context of this relationship right now. Okay. And so how do you help them unconfuse? And they're like, again, with that positive, um, that positive attitude, like, Hey, you know, when we are together, I really, really appreciate this time. Like, I love it when you put your cell phone down and we're having dinner. <laughs> I love it when you send me those um, sexy pictures from your business trip or whatever. Whatever it is. I get so horny when you take out the garbage or mow the lawn. <laughs> things like that are going to make your relationship better and help your partner to feel appreciated, which is then going to make them less um, grumpy in your relationship. Okay. Um, what can get in the way of, you know, fostering more love in this relationship this month? And they're like, basically the decisions that you make. And specifically, um, it could be like, flirting with other people by email, Facebook, or text message. It's electronic flirting, okay? Um, I don't know if that's you that's doing it or is perceived to be doing that. Maybe it's um, something innocent, but it hurts your partner or vice versa. So for example, if um, somebody posted a picture, like a selfie, okay, and, and it's a dude and you're a female and... You say, oh, so handsome. It's innocent. You have maybe zero attraction to this person, but your partner doesn't know that. And so it really hurts their feelings. Okay, so be cautious of your electronic communications. Some of you probably are um, 
being a little bit promiscuous. Maybe you've got your uh, work wife or your work husband or whatever. And so they're like, just monitor that. Okay. Um, will you get caught? They're like, well, you hope you don't. <laughs> But um, ultimately, uh, I think you could keep that up for a while. Your partner might not find out in May if you are cheating, but inevitably they will. Okay, um, so what is the best way to uh, kind of bring more love into your relationship? I think I kind of asked that question already, but I feel like there's more to say here. And they're just like, um, focus on the happiness and the joy. Like, especially in um, creating new things, creating new routines, maybe you do like a home improvement pro um, project together. They're saying when you're feeling emotionally imbalanced, focus on what it is that you need to say. It's not so much about what you need to do this month. Oftentimes um, in relationships, you know, everybody's got a different love language. So we might get advice like, you know, do something kind for your partner. They need to see you make a physical effort. But for you, it's more about communication this month. They're saying um, it's really not bad, and but it's like there's not really decisions that you're making to have communication or um, conversations that are difficult that you need to, you might be avoiding it. So even if it's your partner who wants to talk about something, you might be like, mm, I'm a little busy. Mm, let's deal with this tomorrow. Oh, I'm too tired. They're like, try not to do that. Try to be really open because if you can be, um, there's much more love in the relationship. Remember how we started with that chariot card? Okay. So you'll be thankful that you did. And they're like, inside, you do know this. You're aware. Okay, so stop procrastinating. So that's your love month of May, and I will see you soon for general readings. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!